friends welcome back to my channel i am vedan back again and today we are going to discuss about china how china is trying to control your life and trying to fool you so today i am going to tell you about the weapons that china is using against india so china what have you heard about china in the last few months maybe that china was using its expansion its policy but india used its strong diplomacy against china so now china is using certain weapons but not all of these weapons are good these are some diplomatic weapons that china is using against india today i am going to tell what these diplomatic weapons are so first weapon is guns of course second is illusion and third is money so i am going to talk about the first one which is guns now so see what how they are using is now mainly you saw in the galwan valley incident which happened on 15 july last year in which china attacked indian soldiers but without guns what with some weapons they attacked india and in, you know that in that incident 20 indian soldiers died they were martyred and around 35 to 50 chinese soldiers died but china is scared to uh, disclose the information that how many soldiers they have lost so that if the number of soldier is more then there will be a clear message that india is taking a strong diplomacy against china and if the number will be less then india will of course launch a response and on second you may have heard about the nathula crashes which happened on 20th january if you have not heard about it then i will tell you because it is not appearing in the news nowadays see there is a article about this clash i am going to read it indian pla soldiers clashed in north sikkim on Jan january 20 says indian army new delhi Indian and Chinese troops physically clashed again in the high altitude area of Nakula in North Sikkim last week with several soldiers being injured on both sides after India repelled an attempt by Chinese troops to enter Indian territory the Chinese actions served as a grim reminder of the assertiveness shown by the People's Liberation Army all along the line of actual control even as indian army remains in the state of high alertness the indian army said it was a minor face off at nakula on january 20 2021 which was resolved by local commanders as per established protocols chinese government mouthpiece global times however said no clash had occurred terming it fake news indian and chinese troops had also clashed at nakula in may last year which left several soldiers on both sides see were well injured just after the violent clashes in ladakh now we can't just the global times which is in chinese media because you know how untrustworthy the chinese is but you saw how china is using weapons to attack on the indian side now we are going to discuss about money say so there is an external crisis in india for example some people are protesting and the protest goes big so what will china do how will china take the advantage i am going to tell you china will fund the people who are protesting they will give them money give them everything that they need for their protest and then in return the people will have to tell their agenda the chinese agenda they will have to spread So this is how China creates an external crisis in India without even using a single bullet. And then there is an external crisis. The government is more busy in that, and then China attacks, and then it is too weak to defend. This is how China uses money to make the Indian side weak. And third, I am going to tell about illusion. You may have heard about Vivo and Xiaomi phones being made in India nowadays. If you have seen news about ads about Chinese electronic brands, they will give you made in India. There has been a lot of confusion about this, but I am going to clear your confusion. What they are just doing is an is an example of the seventies and eighties when Indian people are protesting against Tata Group and Birla Group. They were telling that these these businessmen were corrupt and they were taking all the money from farmers and they were not allowing them to. 
take any factory in India. So what did the Tatas and Bilas do? They just said they just they just set their fan factory in Bangladesh and Myanmar and Nepal and in these countries and they imported the cloth to India or anything to India and people could happily see the logo tag made in Bangladesh, made in Nepal, etc. But they would not wonder that it was made by the same brand. The same strategy is being used by Chinese companies like Xiaomi and Vivo. They are just putting the plants in India but the raw material everything is coming from China so that China still gets the income here and no not a single Indian brand is getting the income here so that is how China is fooling by illusion if one Vivo makes an ad in which they promote Atmanirbhar Bharat because they have already put the thappa that they are that they are Indian brand. So this was how China is fooling you. Now that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you can get notifications about my channel. Thank you, friends.